you know, there can be minor differences. I don't think this one's quite as wide-bodied as, uh, as in the picture here, but uh, we're looking at a smallish sauropod, by small being 30-odd feet in length. So, uh, which for around here in a sauropod is actually pretty small. These rocks uh, down here in the creek bed are around 110 to 115 million years in age, give or take a million, a half a million. And uh, so far what we've got is what that David here has kindly uh, highlighted in for us. We've got several ribs, we've got uh, parts of uh, lower legs and feet, including a cluster of foot bones, including a couple of toes, uh, claws, things like that. We now have a string of at least eight vertebrae that actually connect to one another from down here in the, the latter half of the tail. And these have been now found over three different years. 2021 were the first ones that Kathy found. 20, yeah. Or is it 20 or 21? 20, no, it was, no, it was 20. 20. Okay, so now we're, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm getting my dates wrong. So then uh, somebody found a couple of them last summer in the creek. Was that, that you was, guys again? Uh, well, David. you and David? Mom Kathy found, and I, yeah, da oh, David yeah. and I found some, then Mom and found then, some. Yeah. And then just about a month ago, a, a string of three and a third came out, and it turns out we we're able to actually click them all together. Hey. They actually have contacts that show up. So now there's a string of about eight of these things about this long nice. that all go together. Which is interesting because it suggests, and all of those have all been found in the creek, in the gravels. I'm thinking this thing has been eroding out of this bank for centuries. And so a lot of chunks have been coming out of large concretions in the creek itself. We know there's some in the foot of the bank. There's a big concretion there, there are ribs coming out of it. I don't think that's the goal today. I sure didn't bring anything <laughs> for that. Um, what we need to do though, is we need, if things keep popping out of the creek gravels, we need to get rid of the creek gravels. We need to find everything that's there so that we can operate with a clean conscience on the big chunk that's still there without burying something deeper that we already, you know, we, we don't already know is there. Turns out, David, could you tell, how far down did you find that last chunk? The last so, couple of chunks. <clears throat> Right where the site is, which is where the big concretion is, there's um, it's a hard lens of sandstone that dives down deep into the creek. It just kind of goes down almost like a 45 mm -hmm. down into it. So at the base of that is where I found um, two articulated lower limb bones mm -hmm. in the, in laying down at the bottom, bottom of the creek. So probably 